All right, Coach, a big win for you guys here in the national semifinal game. Uh, can we just get your initial thoughts on today's contest? Well, I, we, we knew this was going to be uh, a very difficult game. Again, we've, we've talked 60 minutes, uh, 60 minutes of football is what we need to do. And uh, we have a tremendous amount of respect for the type of team that Ferris uh, State is. And we knew this was going to be uh, just a very difficult ball game. But um, as our guys have shown week in and week out, and as they have just continued to believe in each other, support each other, up, down, they really don't care, uh, they're just going to keep playing great football. And I mean, that's something that we've talked about uh, from the beginning. And uh, could not be prouder of how our guys handled, I think, you know, different aspects of adversity, whether it's, uh, you know, we're driving down and uh, we got a touchdown and, you know, Tate falls down and they get an interception. But our guys just came back to the sideline and said, okay, we'll, we'll keep working on that. And so um, love how our guys handle things and could not be prouder of the effort today against what I think uh, the last two years, uh, definitely one of the best football teams in the country at Division II. And then what has been the message of the team through the postseason as you guys have been road warriors and having to go on these long road trips across the country? Yeah, we we've, we've really have not cared where we play or who we play. Uh, and that's never really been that big of a deal uh, to our guys. And I told them, uh, I told them at the beginning of this, you know, anything can happen when we get into the playoffs. Um, any team can uh, have an opportunity. So let's just embrace that we're going to be on the road and embrace that we've got to go play some great teams at their place. And uh, let's just continue what, what we think we're capable of doing. I think we have each of the players just kind of tell um, what it's like this experience in the postseason and what your feelings are going to the national championship game next week. Uh, personally, it's, it feels great. Uh, I'm a senior, so it's kind of like, hey, man, one more game. We get to play another game and another game. And it's bittersweet that next game is going to be my last. But I'm glad to be there. Yeah, it's just really awesome as a freshman to be able to go on this run with these guys. Just haven't taken it for granted whatsoever. It's just really been great. I know that even though I have three more years after this, you never know if you're going to be back here at this stage. Obviously, we're going to try to every year, but you just never know. And so obviously just not taking it for granted. Just extremely thankful. Just God is really great, and he's just amazing what he's doing with this team and what he's letting us do. Um, I think it's just an amazing experience. Um, Dre, um, me, a couple other guys started the program five years ago. So just to see the journey that we've had and get back here now for the second time, and this time we're trying to finish it out. So, like you uh, Young programs, your second national championship appearance. Um, what are some of the emotions going into this next week? Well, it's, uh, I don't know that I can describe it, but you know, as, as Tate just mentioned, uh, he and Dre and uh, a handful of other guys were, were here five years ago when we didn't really have a field, we didn't have a facility. Uh, now we have Penn Airfield to practice on, Daryl Gooden uh, Center to uh, train in. And, you know, they, they came just on a dream that we sold to them that the University of West Florida could be a great place to play football uh, and we we're going to have opportunities like this. And now for them and their leadership uh, to take a program that's four years old, uh, we're 8 0 on the road in the postseason, and to be in two national championships in four years uh, just speaks volumes to the character uh, of our team and just, you know, how much they believe in each other uh, and believe in what we're trying to do. And then what do you think were the big keys for you guys to get this victory today? I just think, you, you know, constantly uh, getting after it. Obviously, our defense uh, played fantastic, and really we had to move a couple guys around because we had a couple guys go down. Uh, those turnovers were huge. And in the second half, turning those turnovers into points. And, you know, one of the things I felt like Ferris State did extremely well throughout every film that we watched was play field position football. Uh, and I mean, just it seemed like they were always backing people up, always uh, putting people in bad positions. And, you know, to win the field position battle, which is one of our goals throughout the process, um, I mean, just I think really speaks to our team being able to handle a lot of different situations. Andre, can you talk about just that second half defensive performance? You seem to be ball hawking more than anybody. In the uh, like Coach Shinnick said, a couple guys went down, so I had to move from my outside linebacker spot to an inside linebacker spot. And I just kind of, Coach said, let the game come to you natural. So I kind of just went out there and played and used the things and the keys that I used to outside linebacker and shifted a little bit to inside linebacker. And God blessed me with a lot of plays and coming my way. And Tate, I mean, I know I talked to you about it. Radio. You seem to kind of will the team in the second half. You, you aren't going to drop balls. You aren't going to have anything bad happen to you. What, what was your mindset out there? 
I mean, I just want to win more than anything. So I'm going to do anything I can in my power. Whatever the coaches need, whatever the team needs me to do, that's what I'll do. So if the ball's coming my way, I'm going to catch it. If I have a block that I need to make, I'll make that block. So whatever it is. Coach, I mean, I know it's still early to think about it, but have you thought about the type of teams you guys have beaten on this run? <laughs> no, I just know all of them were really good. <laughs> and all of them, you know, just had, I mean, uh, again, we knew, I mean, we, we have a saying that our best will get it done. Our best is good enough. We, we just got to play our best. And we, and we were like, we've got to be at our best for the entire process. And I think, you know, I, I, I think the three guys sitting here really kind of embody that, you know. Uh, Dre's been playing outside linebacker for us, all-conference performer, you know, phenomenal guy. We need him to move inside, and he gets it done because we had an injury there and he needed to do it. Uh, Tate, you know, um, we needed big catches in the second half and I mean the two point play the touchdown uh, you know he had two touchdowns you know the opening drive he just does whatever we ask him to and I think you know as Austin just continues to grow and just continue to find ways to stay alive I mean uh, you know look like he was sacked uh, there early and then scrambles out and finds Javon Newton to keep a drive alive and then all of a sudden we score points and then uh, really threw some amazing balls I think just pinpoint accuracy and that's kind of the grit, the kind of determination, kind of the, um, you know, character that our guys have. And uh, I, I think at some point in time, we'll look back and go, wow, you know, the teams that we've we've played are uh, are really, really good. But um, we found ways and we think we're really good as well.